Where did you get that? On the shelf. Well, I just looked and there aren't any left. Oh yeah, I think I got the last one. And you didn't think to ask if anyone else might want it? Um, no. Well, that's kind of selfish, don't you think? No, because I was looking for that exact item. Mm, so was I. And I'm not able to wait till they restock. Yikes, sorry to hear that. Bye. Find everything okay? Yes. Excuse me, are there any more of these items? I'm not sure, I'll have to check. Well, would you mind waiting? Because I kind of want to know before she buys the last one. I don't understand. Excuse me, I'd simply like to know your opinion on who you think should get the last one. <sighs> who had it first? Uh, well, this has been on my to-do list for weeks. But who had it first? Well, if your parking situation had been better, I would have. Yeah, so it sounds like she got it first. Technically. So did you still want my opinion? Only if it's the right opinion. Great, then have a nice day. Uh-uh, I knew you were gonna try and do that. No! <laughs> do what? Bro, that was so embarrassing. Just go, please. Who, me? All right, you have a nice day. Uh-oh. Is everything good? Uh, yeah, do you mind if I take this phone call? It's kind of an emergency. Oh yeah, of course, just step outside, I got this. Awesome, thank you. Hey, is everything okay? <laughs> well, I'm at work, but I can come get you if you need me. No, 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 it's okay. If you're sick, I'd rather you come home. <clears throat> Excuse me. Well, hold on. Hi, yes. I'm waiting. For what? I need help finding a product. Oh, oh yeah, no, if you just go right inside the store, someone will be able to help you. Okay, but you have a store name tag on. You can't help me? I, uh, no. <laughs> hmm. Okay. Yeah, so, excuse me. Hi, yes, how can I help you? Oh, well, I was just curious what your phone policy is here because it's very inappropriate to have employees on the phone in front of customers. Oh, well, we don't have our phones out while we're working. Oh, well, tell that to the girl up front who's greeting customers on her phone. Oh, no, she's just taking an emergency phone call. That's totally separate. Okay, but she's at work. Yes. Well, it makes me uncomfortable shopping here knowing people have other obligations. Okay, well, I'm happy to help you. I don't understand why she can't help me. Because she's on a break right now. Well, as a customer, seeing someone on the phone makes me not want to give you a dime. Okay, well, I'm not on the phone. Hey, I'm really sorry. My little brother's sick. I have to go pick him up from school. Okay, yeah, no problem. <laughs> Guess if you're employed here, you don't have to work. Ma'am, are you gonna buy something? No, I think I want a job here. I can just be on my phone. I don't have to work. It's like a circus. What a playground this is. Jeez. What the? What is the purpose of this? Oh, that's a Halloween decoration. Incorrect. This is witchcraft and deviltry. Well, that's just kind of the theme of what people want to buy for Halloween, so we sell it. Hmm. And are you proud of yourself? What? Is this something you take pride in? All this darkness and these evil isms? Yeah, it's not mine. I don't own this store. But you do work here, so you are the face of this company. No. You know, everyone is always up in arms about representation. Everyone needs to be represented. Well, what about the representation for basic Christianity? I mean, the Christmas stuff is one aisle over. Well, it's canceled out when everything around it is just witchcraft, witchcraft, witchcraft! Okay, well, you could just not shop here or just not look at it. I want you to know that I'll remember all of this. Hopefully I forget. Next time you see me, I'll be here in a group of people and we'll be chanting and calling upon the spirits to bless this place. Hmm, that kind of sounds like witchcraft. It's not. Hmm, well, I think it is. No, it's not! And I'll just need to see some form of ID for this. What? No, <laughs> I've purchased alcohol here many times. I think you guys know how old I am. Oh, well, the computer makes me scan the ID, so. No, it's okay, I'm, I'm old enough. Okay, no worries, I'll just still need to scan your ID. <laughs> that seems extremely inappropriate. Sorry? My ID has all my personal information on there, which means you don't get to see it. Okay, no worries, I just can't sell this to you then. Okay, I, I clearly I'm over 21 years old. I mean, look at this jacket. Well, I never want to assume, and plus it makes me scan it. <laughs> I've never heard of that. That's preposterous. Okay, well, that's the law. Well, I won't be participating in your merry-go-round of nonsense today. Sounds good. Have a nice day. Please ring me up just as soon as you give me that ID. Oh, you are single-handedly making my life more difficult. <sighs> okay, you know what? How old are you? Old enough? For what? To party? <clears throat> uh... Excuse me. Hi, what? Hi, sorry, you're uh, sitting in my seat. <laughs> it doesn't have your name on it. I mean, it kind of does. It's on my ticket for this seat. Okay, well, no one was sitting here, so. Right, because I got up to go to the bathroom, <laughs> but this is my seat. I think there's an empty one over there. I don't care. I paid for first class, so I kind of want to sit in my first class seat. I've been sitting here this whole time. Okay, you're literally sitting next to my husband. Well, how am I supposed to know he's your husband? He's sleeping. 
I don't see how that matters. Ma'am, would you mind taking your seat? We can't have the walkways blocked. Yeah, go back to your seat. I don't know who this woman is, but she just decided that she's gonna sit here, so I need her to move. Ugh, it doesn't matter where you sit. We're going to the same destination. If it doesn't matter, then go back to your seat. Ma'am, can I see your ticket? I'm not able to do that. My ticket was set on fire. Okay, well, I have my ticket, and it says that I'm in this seat. Okay, ma'am, I'm gonna need you to get up. No, 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 you can't just ask a stranger to do physical activities. You don't even know. I, I'm sore from Pilates and I have to rest, okay? Then how did you get from your seat to mine? Um, newsflash, there's something called delayed soreness from Pilates and I have that now. Ma'am, I will call security. Good, good, I want them to come. I want them to see what's happening here, that someone is forcing another individual who can't stand to stand. If you go back to your seat, I'll get you an ice cream sandwich. Well, I'll... Have you know that that is a, a great compromise. <laughs> oh my gosh, thank you. No problem, she's not getting that ice cream sandwich. Do you guys need some help over here? Finally, we need a size eight. Yeah, uh, what shoe? I just told you, my son is trying on shoes, we need an eight. Okay, well, is it for the shoe that's on his feet or the one next to his feet or the ones that you're holding or the ones that are all over my floor? Obviously, he wants the ones that light up. Okay. <laughs> Excuse me, where are you going? You asked me to go get you a pair of shoes. No, I didn't. I asked you to look on the shelf and find the shoe that I'm looking for. Okay, no problem. Here are the shoes that you're looking for. <laughs> it's funny how you people put in such little effort and then expect tips. <laughs> we don't ask for tips. Well, good, because you're not getting one. <laughs> Let me know if you need anything else. What? What's your rush? Where are you going? I'm going to go help someone else now. I thought you were going to help me get my son's shoes. I thought that I did. Okay, so when you argue with me, you're purchasing a one-way ticket to not getting a tip. We don't, you're not even allowed to give me tips, so that's not even a thing. My son needs a size eight. Please find that shoe. Sure, so if you actually just look at these numbers on the boxes here, you can just grab which one you want, okay? Are you scared you're gonna break a nail? Please grab it. I'd be happy to demonstrate so you can do it on your own next time. Oh wait, when was the last time you washed your hands? That your hands are disgusting. I'm not purchasing anything that your dirty hands have touched. Right, well then I don't know what you want from me. Is it that hard to ask you to just do your job? No, but if you don't mind, I'm gonna go do my job and help someone. Wait, wait, come back over here, now! Oh my god. Yes, my son threw up in those shoes over there. I need you to go clean them out. He did what? He threw up in the shoes because they made him sick. Get out. You dumbass, did you not see my big white Suburban driving right at you? <laughs> Are you joking? You just came flying around the corner in a parking lot. I eat entitled bitches like you for breakfast, so have a good one. Wow, real nice talking like that in front of your kids in the backseat. I'm sure they've learned a lot from you. <laughs> nice try. They can't hear me because they're listening to Kids Bop. Just drive away from me, please. I'm done with this conversation. Oh my God. No, after this, I think I'll park my car right behind yours. <laughs> okay, whatever. <laughs> Hey, good morning. Sorry I'm late. I just had the weirdest experience with this crazy woman in the parking lot. Anyway, uh, what time is my interview coming in this morning? Uh, she should be here any minute. Perfect. Just let me know when she's here. Oh, it looks like she's actually walking in right now. Hi there. I had an interview for the receptionist position this morning. Okay, and the owner is actually here this morning, so she'll be sitting in on your interview. <laughs> Hi. Hi. You look familiar. We're already a little behind. Let's go ahead and start the interview. Okay, uh, was there going to be someone else that's going to sit in with us? No, I don't want to bother them. It's just you and me. What a nice office you have. So much wood. Yes, have a seat. Let's get started. What's your name? Oh, okay. Uh, well, my name is Mary Elizabeth Sylvester Stallone, but you can call me Mary Elizabeth SS or M-E-S-S. -S. Oh, I guess. <laughs> so you're telling me your name is Mess? Oh, wait, no. Sorry, I was just trying to be creative. <laughs> Next question. Let's say you got into a disagreement with a customer or a coworker, for example. How would you respond? Yeah, so I would be very calm and... <laughs> <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> Listen, I feel like you're not taking this interview very seriously. Okay, yeah, valid. You almost killed me though. <laughs> oh my god, it was an accident. Well, you see, the only reason I'd hire you is just to fire you, and that's a lot of paperwork. How did everything come out over here? Good? Actually, I think you forgot to bring me the coleslaw that comes with my meal. Coleslaw doesn't come with that meal, but I'd be more than happy to go grab you a side of it if you'd like. No, darling, it definitely comes with it. I wouldn't have ordered it otherwise. Aren't you supposed to know the menu? Oh, look, a menu and ooh, no coleslaw listed under your meal. Let me see. Well, it was definitely on here when I ordered it. So again, I'd be more than happy to go get you some. I'm just not going to pay extra for it. Okay, then I won't be bringing you a side of it then. Are you gaslighting me and making me feel like I don't know what I ordered? <laughs> No, so here's the thing. Just because you have it in your mind that you want something doesn't mean you're entitled to it. 
Oof, you hear the way she's talking to me? You're not getting any tip from us. <laughs> Okay, well in that case, I'll go ahead and drop off your bill now. This will be our last interaction, so you folks have a good night. I'm a law student. I'm not paying 69 cents for coleslaw. Then you don't get it. Hey, are you ready to check out? Yes, hi, how are you doing today? Doing good, how about you? Oh, I'm just feeling so blessed and grateful that I was able to get into your line today. Oh really, that's nice of you. <laughs> yeah, and I couldn't help but notice and feel that maybe you were a little lost and I would love to help you find your way. Wait, what? Do you mind if I pray for you? I guess if you want to. Because I can tell you're not in a relationship with God, are you? I, I, I don't really think I should be discussing this with you anyway. <laughs> oh, well, I wouldn't mind waiting until you got off work. I would love to speak to you about Jesus Christ. No, please, no. <laughs> I, no, thank you. No, seriously, it's not a problem at all. It's what I'm here for. I want to help you. You know, I, I think I'm good. <laughs> well, I really wish you would just consider it. I appreciate it, but I'm good. <laughs> anyway, your total is going to be $6.66. What did you just say? <laughs> I promise this has nothing to do with me. Did you want to add like a pack of gum or something? This is exactly what I was afraid of. It's just a weird coincidence, I promise. Oh, I've never had anything like this happen before. Yeah, numbers can be weird. I don't want any of these items. Can I just have your name so I know who to pray for? Sure, my name is Satine. Satan? Wait, no, 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 my- I knew there was something wrong with this grocery store. I'm out of here. Okay, just watch out for that snake, which is not mine. Ugh, I hate this place. It never has what I'm looking for. Ma'am, can I help you find something? No, I don't think you can, because this store never has what I need. I'm sorry, do you mind me asking what you're looking for? Yes. Oh, well, I'll be right over here if you need me. <sighs> I'm looking for body wash. Oh, yeah, I can show you where that is. No, I've already looked around. It's nowhere. I actually just stocked it, so I know exactly where it is. Just follow me. I've been walking around this whole time. Can't you just bring it to me? Oh, uh, well, we have so many different types. You may just want to pick out the kind that you like the most. I already know which one I like. Okay, well, do you want to follow me and pick it out? No, not really. I'm pretty sick and tired of this store. Understandable. If you need help in the future, just let me know, okay? I thought you were bringing me body wash. Well, we have so many selections, I don't know which one you want. No, you don't know what you're talking about. I've already looked around. There's literally nothing. Ma'am, it's literally right there. Where? No, this way, right there. Well, it wasn't there before. Yes, it was. Liar! I cannot stand this customer. Can you take her? Uh, sure. What's the problem? She can barely speak English. I can never understand her. I always have to get some sort of like translator. It's so annoying. Okay, what language does she speak? I don't know. I just get someone else to deal with it. Uh, ma'am, I can help you over here. Good luck. You're not going to be able to understand anything she says. Hey, you remember that customer you said you couldn't understand? Yes. Oh my God. Did you have to like kick her out? No. In fact, I can understand her just fine because she does speak English. Yeah, but not very good because I can't understand it. Wow, that's crazy, because I could understand her just fine. Oh, so you probably speak another language. No, actually, and even if I did, that wouldn't necessarily mean that what I spoke would align with her language. There's thousands of languages out there, so. Thousands? Yeah, but English is the one that people know. No, no, English is just the language that you know. But in American stores, people need to adapt. Oh, you're that kind of ignorant. Got it. What? Are you open? Yes, how are you? Okay, I need this returned. No problem. Was there something wrong with it? It doesn't matter. I just need to return it. Oh, well, I just have to mark if it was the wrong size, if it ripped, if it was defective. Oh my god, I'm telling you, I just need to return it. Okay, give me my money back on this piece of crap or else I am suing you. Okay. <sighs> my god, I feel like they'll just hire anyone these days. Do you even know what you're doing? Sure do. You can go ahead and put your card in. Excuse me, I know how to do a return. You don't need to tell me what to do. Okay. <sighs> what happened to this store? I don't know why they would hire hire someone like you and you don't know what you're doing. This is just bad on the business. Mm. Well, if you're going to talk to me like that, I'm not going to help you. Okay, just do the return. No, I don't like the way you're speaking to me, so I don't have to put up with your verbal abuse. Oh, you come I'm working on my anger. Okay, it's fine. Let's just let's just do this. Yeah, you can work on your anger outside of my store. Just return it. No. Merry Christmas! Excuse me, hi. I had a flight that was supposed to leave at 7.51, but it's not at the gate. Oh, well, it is currently 9.07, so it looks like you missed it. Okay, but I, I was supposed to be on that flight, so I don't, I don't, is it normal for you to just abandon your clients? Hmm, well, it does look like we tried to contact you several times. Would you like me to replace your ticket for the same destination? Well, after this, I don't know if I still want to go. Oh, okay, no problem. I can go ahead and cancel that. Well, maybe I want to go somewhere else now. Oh, no problem. Where would you like to- I want to go somewhere better. I want to go to the Grand Canyon. Okay, yeah, I can definitely uh, switch your ticket to Arizona. I didn't say Arizona. I said the Grand Canyon. 
Yes, of course, but you do have to still fly to an airport in Arizona. You can't just fly directly to the Grand Canyon. Okay, whatever. Okay, and it looks like there will be an increase to the price. We're just exchanging tickets here. It shouldn't cost me a dime. Well, I could have exchanged the original ticket, but then you... Well, when's the next flight to Margaritaville? I'll just go there. That... You know what? It's leaving right now. Let me get you on that. Are you gonna need a box for this? No, thanks. Was everything okay with your meal? Yeah, I just wasn't hungry. Gotcha. I'll be right back with your check. Wait check unless you wanted to order something else wait no no but i didn't actually eat anything right that's why i asked if you wanted a box so you didn't lose all that food yeah but i just told you i wasn't hungry so that food's technically not mine okay well unless there was something extremely wrong with it you still have to pay for it but if i take it home i'm just gonna throw it away and that's gonna waste food i hear you but if you leave it here i'm gonna have to throw it away as well it's just gonna be oh don't even give me that i'm sure there's someone in this restaurant that could eat that meal well, we make sure all the food that we serve is fresh. You wouldn't want someone else's reheated food, would you? No, absolutely not. Exactly. So what's your point? My point is that whether you take this food home or not, you are still responsible for the bill. <laughs> and if I take off running, what are you going to do? Ma'am, please don't do that. And she's gone. Wait, ma'am, watch out. Hi, did you find everything okay? I sure did, but that's because I come here all the time. Wait, how much did those ring up for? Uh, it looks like $14.99. Wait, what? I, that's more than I thought it would be. Okay, did you still want it? Oh, no, don't worry. I know how to handle this, don't worry. So actually, I've seen that exact same pair of pants at Marshall's and they were a lot cheaper. Okay, so did you not want them? Well, don't you want to match the price? Oh, I can't do that, I'm sorry. How about this? We do it for $4.99. That sounds like a good deal, huh? I can do that, mm-hmm. I'm sorry, no, we don't bargain here. Whatever the price tag says it is, I, I can't change that, I'm sorry. Well then, ma'am, it looks like you just lost another customer. No problem, have a nice day. You just lost my service. I'm I'm not gonna buy it. I, I'm not. Oh, no problem. Did you need help finding the way out? We're leaving and we're not buying anything. I wish you would. We're gonna tell all of our friends about this. Hi, welcome to our drive through at lunchtime. What can I get started for you? Yes, can I get two orders of waffles? No, I'm sorry. It's 2 p.m. We stopped selling breakfast at 10 a.m. And then can I do bacon, egg, and cheese on a bagel? No. And what? Okay, I'll ask. Do you have like a chicken and pancake dish? And no, and even if we did, I couldn't sell it to you because it's lunchtime. Okay, well, my family eats breakfast late in the day, so serve us our breakfast. I mean, I guess that's kind of an interesting thing you got going on with your family there, but I can't change the restaurant rules for you. Well, I Don't you have access to the same kitchen and ingredients that you had this morning? Why can't you whip me up some pancake chicken? Because your satisfaction isn't reinforcing enough to outweigh the consequences of going against policy. Well, maybe if you people stopped complaining so much about low wages and actually did your job, you'd get more done. No, quite the opposite. I would be willing to do the extra mile if I had compensation. Okay, I'm going to be pulling up to the window and I want my bagel with cream cheese. Ma'am, you didn't even originally order that. Any breakfast item you have, I want it. Okay, just pull up to the window. Finally, you see, this is how you got to talk to those people. Hi, ma'am. Here you go. What is this? That's the only breakfast item we have available. How? Did you know Cheddar Jack is my favorite flavor? What? Seriously, I haven't had these in forever. So nostalgic. Thanks so much. Have a good day. Wait, I, I wanted to fight. Oh, excuse me. The end of the line is actually way back there. Oh, I know. I just don't have time for that long line. I just have to ask a quick question. I'll be really fast. Oh, no, I'm sorry. That's not how this works. Oh, well, you see, I'm in a hurry, so... Okay, and I get that. I was also in a hurry, but I had to wait in this line, so you're gonna have to do the same thing. You're not gonna do me a favor? No, I don't even know you. Well, haven't you heard of a random act of kindness? Yeah, but if it's being demanded, it's not very random. Well, it won't kill you to help out a stranger now, will it? So if you'll just let me be. Okay, but it's not just affecting me, it's affecting every single person in this line that's been waiting. The answer is no. Okay, well, I don't have time for that. And I don't have time for this. <laughs> do you even know what it's like to have arthritis? What? Exactly, you should really consider what other people are going through before you're rude to them. Okay, I'm gonna say this once. I have very hot coffee and I'm not afraid to use it. Why are you personally attacking me? Hi ma'am, did you have an appointment? Yes, of course I have an appointment. It's not till two. I am a little bit early. I was just hoping you might be able to squeeze me in sooner. Two o'clock, okay. It is currently 8 a.m. and we're actually very booked today so I don't believe there's gonna be any time to just squeeze you in before your appointment. Uh, they did it for me last time. Okay, and it is a new day and on this day we are not able to do that. Whatever. I'm gonna be waiting over there, and when a spot inevitably opens up, I'll be ready for it, so you better call my name first. <laughs> oh, great. Okay, can't wait to deal with that all day. I can take who's next. Hi, I have an appointment for 8 a.m. Okay, perfect. I just need you to sign in right here, and then I can go ahead and get you back. Beep beep. Rewind. Uh-uh. I was here first. Yes, and if this were a first-come, first-served scenario, I would congratulate you. I'd give you a high five if that's what you wanted, but it's not. It's by appointment. Your appointment's for two, and it's 8 a.m.
Well, it's not my fault others haven't exposed themselves to time management. And it's not my fault you have nothing better to do than hang out at the doctor's office. I'll strangle you. Do you find everything okay? Oh my god, I love your shirt! Go Bulls! <laughs> oh, yeah, thanks. <laughs> now, are you a student or an alum? Oh, no, 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 I just, I actually just found this at a thrift store. <laughs> Did you? Yeah, I got it for a good price. Uh, <laughs> I don't think you're allowed to do that. What? Well, I mean, if you didn't go to that school, you're not really supposed to be buying the shirts. Yeah, I don't think that's true. No, it is. I mean, if you think about it, I had to, you know, pay a lot of money to go to that school. I had to sacrifice a lot of time. And we just have a lot of shared experiences that you don't have. So if you wear that, it's kind of like a slap in the face. Oh, I'm sorry you feel that way. Oh, no worries. I mean, I get it. It's just, you know, maybe you could hand me the shirt and I'll put it somewhere safe. I'm not giving you my shirt. Come on now, just hand it over. Is this sexual harassment? I, I still have the Dean's email. I can report this. Well, your shirt says NASA. Do you work for NASA? I mean, that's totally, totally different. Hey everybody. Hey Sam. Has it been busy today? Uh, not too bad. <clears throat> cool. I'm gonna go put my stuff in the back and I'm gonna clock in. Can I ask a question? Me? Mm-hmm. Yeah, just give me one moment. I'm gonna go clock in and then my question is not about clocking in. Okay. I'm just curious as to why you're having this improfessional conversation in front of a customer. Improfessional? Talking about how you don't like the customers here and how you hate working here and you put your dirty bag all over my food. It's all over my food, so now I can't even eat that. Ma'am, I just got to work. Well, maybe work is what you should be doing because the steak is not cooked how I like it. Okay, and you can let your server know or I can help you once I get back. And so what, I'm just supposed to sit here in the meantime? Yeah, isn't that what you were doing anyway? You know, you're just a, a bitch. Yes, and that is Miss Bitch to you, Karen. <sighs> so you can either wait or you can get out. I'll wait. Okay. That comes out to 25.07. Okay. Oh, wait. I think I might have that exact change. Hold on. Oh, yeah. Okay. I think I just have... It. Maybe it's... Uh... Take your time. Uh, I give up. I don't know. Here's a penny. Wonderful. Uh, it looks like you're just short $10.06. No, that's impossible. Uh, I mean, I can count it again. No, no, because I'm pretty sure I gave you $30 and a penny. No, you gave me a 10, a 5, and a penny. What happened to the 20? I don't know, you never gave it to me. Of course I gave it to you, I put a 20 in your hands and now it's a 10? That doesn't make sense. You're right, that doesn't make any sense, that's why I'm telling you that you gave me a 10. No, this can't be right. Look at the money! So is the price actually 3507? No, it's still 2507, you just haven't given me enough. But I gave you a 20! Ma'am, we just went- Your store is trash. Excuse me, I need some help over here. Hi there, what can I help you with? Oh, I just need some help getting this item off the shelf. Okay, yeah, I'll go get the step stool. Oh, no, it's right there, it's eye level, I just need you to grab it. Oh, yeah, no problem, sorry, I thought you couldn't reach it. Um, here you go. Mm, no, I don't want this one, it isn't the right color. Sorry, that was the one you pointed to. No, I need you to get me another one from the back. Oh, well, actually, we don't have any of these left in the back. Everything we have is on the shelf right now. Now, darling, I know that's just what people say when they don't want to go get it, but I really need you to go get it. No, you see, I've actually had several people ask me for this particular toy, and I've had to go look in the back like three times, and there's nothing. Darlin, I really hope you don't think that I'm stupid, because my brother came down to this exact Walmart about a week ago, and he got his item from the back, so where's mine? Well, if it was a different day, we probably- Do you think that I don't know how your job works? You are here to help me, sugar, so go help me. One moment. Thank you, ma'am. Get out! Oh my- Hey, where's the bathroom? Uh, they're right over there. <sighs> okay, thanks. No problem. Hi there. Hey, how can I help you? That was just my son you were talking to. Oh, cool. Yeah, he's awfully shy and he's just wondering if maybe you guys could go out on a little date. Oh, he had his mom ask me out? He's a very shy boy. How are we supposed to go on a date if he can't even talk to me? Well, maybe you can just get him out of the house and give him something to do. Hmm, uh, no thank you. You could at least give him a chance. You know, if he wants to ask me out, he can just come talk to me. Well, the possibility of rejection upsets his stomach. Well, if you can get him to come over here, I'll talk to him. Okay, but no breaking my baby's heart now. <laughs> so, sweetie, ask. So you want to, like, chill sometime? No. Cool. You are! Hi, can you tell me how much this is? Uh, it looks like that'll be $5.99. Okay, never mind. Did you not want it? Oh, no, I'm a dollar short, so maybe next time. You know what? Don't worry about it. It's on me. Just have a good day. Wait, really? Are you sure? Thank you. It's seriously not a problem. I know times are tough right now. You are so sweet. Thank you. I can take whoever's next. Oh, I see we're giving out free handouts now. No. Oh, right. And how do I get free stuff, too? Not that it's any of your business, but I happen to know that that woman is homeless, and the least I could do is spare her a dollar. Aw, how charitable.
And does the manager know that you're giving stuff away for free? Okay, that's definitely not what's going on because I think they'd be very interested to know that an employee is stealing from them. Your total is $12.57. Oh, you're not going to cover my bill. Your total is $12.57. I'm still waiting for my discount. <laughs> I need security to the front. I got a woman trying to shoplift. Oh, whoops. I'm sorry. You're actually in my spot. What? Oh, well, I was here. I was in line and then I had to go grab something, but I saved my spot, so you're in it. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I didn't see you when I walked up. Right, because I was on the other side of the store. Okay, so you weren't here. Well, I was. I saved the spot. Uh, excuse me, was this woman in line behind you? I have no idea. Okay, so no, I'm sorry. You can't skip the line. <laughs> what, you don't believe me? No, I believe you. It's just you can't claim a spot in line and then leave that spot. <laughs> Okay, I can take who's next. Oh, yep, that's me. I just need to reach past this woman here. Excuse me? No, ma'am, I'm sorry. I have to ring this woman up before you. No, 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 I'm in front of her. What? I was here first. Then why are you behind her? Because I got in line, I got out of line, and when I came back, she was in my spot. Yes, that is how lines work. Excuse me, I'm in a rush and I only have one item. Can I skip you? No, are you kidding? Oh, hi there. Are you ready to place your order? Are you serious? I was just here yesterday. You don't remember me? Um, I'm sorry, I don't. I see a lot of people every day, so no. <laughs> well, that's rude. I just want to let you know that we're very unhappy with our experience here yesterday. Oh no, what was the problem? Well, my son just got home from college on a break. You see, he's an honor student, and his favorite thing in the world is your anchovy pizza. And when we ordered it yesterday, it was appalling. I'm sorry to hear that. Do you want me to put in another order? No, in fact, I don't think we'll ever eat here ever again. Oh, okay. Well, thanks for letting me know. I'm sorry that that happened. I don't want your apology. The one you should be apologizing to is my son. He's in the car crying right now. He's crying? Mm-hmm. So what are you going to do to make this better? Well, like I said, I can put in another order or we can- I don't want another order, girly. You know what? That's it. I'm suing this place. I'm contacting my lawyer now. Oh, can you also ask them if they can help get us a higher wage or like more PTO hours or something? No, I can't. Aww. Oh, hi, are you Billiam's mom? Yes, I'm glad you finally found time to meet with me. I have some serious concerns about my son, Billiam. Oh, well, he's doing really well. Hold on. We were working on his language arts homework and I noticed he was learning about pronouns. Yes, we're moving into grammar this week. Don't you think that's inappropriate? I don't understand. My little Billiam is way too young to be learning about such things. Well, he's about to go to middle school. This is just basic grammar. Hold on, I'm texting his father. I don't understand why these schools seem to be so progressive nowadays. When I was in school, we learned about education and I turned out fine. Okay, well, you definitely learned about pronouns in school. Well, back in the day, we used to learn by reading directly out of a dictionary. So where are you getting this outlandish curriculum? So you're telling me you don't know what pronouns are? Of course I know what pronouns are. All the parents are talking about it and it's inappropriate for the classroom. Should I also stop teaching verbs and adjectives? Um, as long as the verb is appropriate. How much longer for our table? Oh, I'm sorry, let me check. We've been really busy. Okay, I don't need your excuses. I have- Hi, table for three. Excuse me. Um, excuse me. No, excuse me. No, excuse me. I've been waiting here for three minutes and you just tried to butt in front of me. That's a mm-mm. <laughs> I don't think you recognize me. I'm a former HOA member and I have connections here. So well, my husband manages a nationally ranked fantasy football team, but you don't hear me bragging about it. In all fairness, I was helping this other woman first. Please don't interrupt. I was trying to help you. We're having a discussion. Work on your customer service. My daughter over there is an honor student at Sunny Lake Academy and we're trying to celebrate. Oh, you're a public school parent. <laughs> My children go to IB school, you know, Brookstone Academy right down the road. And I'm sure those rat-faced toothpicks are your children, correct? <gasps> well, I'm getting you arrested. No, we don't need to call the police. Well, then I want to make a formal complaint on this establishment. What did we do? I'm complaining first. My name is Karen. No, my name is Karen. Oh, good. You're still open. What time do you guys close tonight? Oh, we close in five minutes, but I'm actually getting everything cleaned up right now. Oh, it's okay. I'll be fast. You can squeeze me in. Oh, I'm so sorry. I actually already closed the register and everything's already put away. Okay, so I'm gonna want a heated turkey and Swiss with no lettuce, tomato. No, no, no ma'am, I can't get all that stuff out. Like I said, we're in the middle of closing, so I have to start getting everything. Excuse me, you said you closed at seven. It's 6.58 and people like me who worked a real job all day are actually hungry, so. Oh, and do you guys still have the smoothies? <sighs> yes. Okay, so I want three of those and then I'm gonna make a separate order for my other friend. Man, it's after seven now and- Oh, and can I use your restroom? Trick or treat. But it's not Halloween yet. So? So I'm not gonna give you any candy. But I'm trick or treating. Oh no, I got that. I just, I, I don't know why. I'm gonna tell my mom. Yeah, where is your mom? 
Baby, what's going on? This mean old hag won't give me any candy. What? Why? Why not? Don't you like her costume? She looks great, but I'm not just gonna give her things because she showed up at my door and looks cute. See? She's refusing to give me candy. Why are you refusing to give my daughter candy? Because it's not Halloween. <laughs> tomato, tomato. Kids will be kids. Those two sayings don't. Don't worry, baby. I'm sure there's something in that house that you can go get for my daughter, so go get it. Fine, let me see what I have. Finally, thank you. Why isn't she opening the door? I don't know. Ma'am, go away. Well, it's about time someone showed up here. Oh, yeah, sorry, we don't actually open for another half hour. Oh, it's okay, you're here, I'm here, just let me in. Oh, I'm sorry, I can't let you in yet. I gotta open some things in there, like the register, and then I gotta, oh, well, you don't have to worry about me. I actually see what I want right there, so I'm just gonna grab it if you'll just excuse me. No, ma'am, the store is closed. You may not enter, period. I don't get it. You just get to decide who comes into your store? No, not at all. Well, then how come you can go in and I can't? Because I own it. <laughs> and very much like owning a home, you get to choose how it operates. Get it? Well, then I guess you can let the police know why you're discriminating against me. I mean, yeah, I'd be happy to let them know you tried to push your way into a store that's not open yet. Hi, yes, I'm calling on behalf of civil rights. Oh my god, put it on speaker, I gotta hear this. Ugh, that's a HIPAA violation. You know, since I'm the owner, I just decided I'm not gonna open at all today, so good luck with that phone call. I'm sorry, ma'am. Our store policy says we can't accept returns after 60 days. Well, now you're discouraging me from ever wanting to shop here again. I'm sorry. You will be. Please get a manager. I'd be happy to get a manager, but they're going to tell you the exact same thing I just told you. I'm waiting. Of course you are. <laughs> can't believe I just had to ask twice. Hi, how can I help you? Yes, this person is refusing to let me return my item. Why can't she return the item? Well, because she's trying to return it after 60 days and since our policy- Oh, don't worry about that. It's okay. <laughs> Thought so. What? Well, sometimes it's just easier to give them what they want. A discount would be nice too. Of course, sorry for the inconvenience. Wait, I'm sorry, but why are we going against policy for this woman? Because it's really just not that big of a deal. Then why do we do it? You should really listen to your manager, sweetheart. She knows what she's talking about. Thank you. Was there anything else I could do for you today? Is there any way that this employee just won't be here next time? We can move her to the back? No, she just won't be here at all. The customer is always correct. All right, that comes out to 46.91. Okay, I have EBT. Perfect, just swipe whenever you're ready. <laughs> Thank you so much. Have a good one. I can take you to next. Ooh, yikes, huh? <laughs> Don't worry, I can pay for my groceries. <laughs> Wasn't too worried about it. Wow, it's just so surreal just seeing someone actually use food stamps. Like, I think we're in a nice area and then we see something like that. It's just not something you see every day. So are you going to be using a card today, ma'am? Oh, yes, of course. I have a debit card, a real card that has real money from my job that I go to and I earn things that I buy and um, got a handout. <laughs> Then swipe. All right, here we go. Weird, your card was declined. Oh, that is weird. Hold on, I have another one. I can, this one will definitely work, hold on. Yeah, again, just decline, decline, decline. You must not have sufficient funds. Wow, that's impossible. Oh, it's possible and it's happening to you right now. How we doing? Your food will be out shortly. Great, and when will you be bringing my hot towel? Your towel? Yes, the hot towels that are served before the gourmet meal. Oh. Sorry, we're not that fancy. We don't have hot towels. Okay, but my, my hands are dirty. What am I supposed to do? Oh, well, our bathrooms are right over there if you need to wash your hands. Excuse me, that is unsanitary to go into a bathroom before eating. Right, well, we also have hand sanitizer up at the front. I am recovering from scoliosis. I don't need that anywhere near my body. <laughs> I am confused at that correlation, but no worries. I'm sorry, we just don't have hot towels. Okay. Are, are you taking my picture? Yep, and I'll be sending these over to the health department. Oh, okay. Server is refusing to give sanitary items in dirty restaurant. You know what, ma'am? I think we might actually have a hot towel in the back. Just give me one second. Thank you. God, the service here is... <gasps> oh! Was that hot enough for you? I can take whoever's next. Hi, how are you today? So I'm going to need three cheeseburgers with absolutely no meat and... Oh, okay. A side of fries, a large soda, a medium lemonade, and an iced tea with no ice. Okay, and you said you wanted a large soda? Yes, I said a large. All right, is that going to be it for you today? Oh, ma'am, is that going to be it for you today? Yes, clearly I'm done ordering food. Can't you see me getting my money? If I wanted more food, I would have ordered more food. God, brainless. Okay, I just wanted to make sure I had your order correct. Ma'am, I drive a Civic, okay? I really don't need your sass. Can we get a move on here? <laughs> Excuse me while I make this quick announcement. <clears throat> Attention customers, please remember that fast food employees are people too. Please be kind or don't bother showing up at all. Thank you. Anyway, your total is going to be thirteen sixty-five. You know what? Add an ice cream cone as well. Sorry, our machine is down. What? 
I need a new room as soon as possible because mine smells like cat pee. Oh, I'm so sorry. What room? Room 112. I would like myself and all of my personable belongings escorted out of the room, but do not touch anything. Yeah, no problem. I'm so sorry. The room was cleaned before you came in, so I just don't understand. <sighs> yep, this is an embarrassment. I did Facebook Live everything, so all of Rhode Island did hear about this. Okay, so I do have a room available. Um, it looks like it's on the floor right above you. Sorry, I'm hearing things. Um, perfect. <clears throat> Weird question, do you have a cat? Uh, yes. I see, okay. Ma'am, we do not allow pets at our hotel. Well, that's ridiculous, why not? Well, we wouldn't want the rooms to smell like cat pee. Well, that chick's got her dog over there. Uh, well, you see, that's a service animal, so that's not just her pet. Okay, so just because her dog was in the military means it gets special treatment? No, it didn't serve in the military, it's a service animal. Well, my cat was in the Air Force. Excuse me, where are your Thanksgiving decorations? Oh yeah, they're right over there. No. Yeah, no, they are. I'm looking right at them. No, because all I see over there are Christmas decorations. Yeah, we do have a really big Christmas display, but the Thanksgiving section should be all the way on the end right there. Okay, but it's November. Happy November. As Americans, we should be protecting our right to celebrate Thanksgiving. Is anyone taking away the- Yeah, so enough with the capitalism. Let's just turn it off. No more. I want to just shop. I hear you, but- this is a Walmart. Yeah, it's just I feel so manipulated every time I come in here. You guys got Thanksgiving, Christmas, 4th of July, Black Friday, President's Day, all these things that I just don't want to buy for. I just want to buy butter. Oh, well, butter's actually on the opposite side anyway. Well, now that I'm here, I'd like to look at the Christmas items. Sure, they're right over there. Yeah, right next to Thanksgiving. Yes. Which we should be celebrating first. Excuse me, ma'am. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh, who are you? Oh, sorry. <laughs> Had a nightmare. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. I just wanted to let you know that you had dropped your phone. Is everyone okay? I heard screaming. Yes, I just had a dream that this plane went straight into a volcano. <laughs> I can assure you everything is just fine, so please lower your voice so we don't cause an unnecessary panic. Uh, I have diagnosed nightmare syndrome. Do you think I can just control what goes on in my dreams? No. Okay, then try and control what comes out of your mouth. Well, the least you could do is bring me a bag of peanuts for my troubles. <laughs> As we announced before departure, we're not serving any peanuts on this flight. What? Someone has a very severe allergy. You know, that is the problem with corporate America, okay? Everybody has these convenient illnesses all of a sudden that just stop other people from being who they want to be. I don't get paid enough for this shit. Allergies. Nobody ever accommodates my nightmare syndrome. What? All right, I gotta go. I'll miss you. Bye. Aw, are you her older sister? Oh, no, no, no. That's my daughter. Oh my goodness, I'm so sorry. You just, wow, you look like sisters. You're just so young. Do you mind me asking how old you are? Yeah, I'm 21. My goodness, you had her when you were 18? Yup. Oh my goodness. Well, I hope your parents are around to help. That's a lot of work for a young girl like you. No, they live in another state, actually. Oh, wow, bless your heart. No support. What about your husband? Does he work? I don't have a husband. In fact, it's just me and her, and we're lucky to have each other, so. Oh, Lord have mercy. Well, I hope you're not doing anything crazy to get money. You are responsible for someone's life now, so appreciate the advice, although I did just graduate from college and I've been maintaining my job for over three years now, so. Great, and they're aware of your situation? I don't know, what's my situation? I mean... Wait, your kid is the one that's always screaming at the guidance counselor that he hates his family, right? Come on, we gotta go, our plane leaves in five minutes. Is this the line for security? Excuse me? Yes, ma'am, back of the line, please. Oh, I'm sorry, we don't have time. Our plane's about to leave in five minutes. We gotta get to the front. Ma'am, you need to have your bag checked before you proceed any further. I know you need to check my bag. That's why I'm trying to get to the front, so you can do that and I can go. Ma'am, if I let you skip to the front, then I'm gonna have to let everybody else that's running late skip to the front. Okay, but I'm like really, really late. I'm really not responsible for your time management. Ma'am, we have two minutes now to get to our flight because you've been arguing with me and if you just let me through, I could have gotten on my flight. Ma'am, if you can't follow instructions, I will put you on the floor and call the dogs. Wow, that's a really great message that you're going to send to the youth of America. Well, just because you woke up and chose entitlement today does not mean that we have to reinforce that entitlement. Excuse- Whoa, what's that over there? Ma'am. No, seriously, it, it, there's a big commotion. <sighs> Come on, let's go. Okay, now you're really going to miss your flight. Excuse me, hi, are you the girl that made my food? Oh, hi, uh, yeah, that was me. Was everything okay? I want to know, how come every time I eat here, there's something wrong with my meal? Are you all that stupid? Do you mind explaining to me what ha No! I've had to explain myself 101 times to you people, and you still get it wrong. Why should I even bother? Okay, well, I'm not sure how to help you if you're not going to tell me what the problem is. I'm not sure how to help you. Listen, I'm in customer service. I know what I'm doing. You clearly don't, so try again. <laughs> All right, you know, today is my last day working here. 
I'm not surprised. Clearly this is all too much for you. I'm not gonna snap. It's my last day. So what are you gonna do to help me? Or are you just gonna continue to be useless? You're right. Let me get on that. Beep, 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 beep. Hi, animal control. <laughs> yes, there's a giant bird woman in my restaurant right now. What? Yes, extremely temperamental. Hi, I just need to exchange this item today. Not a problem, I can help you with that. Do you have your receipt? Yep, here it is. Oh, perfect, thank you. Oh, um, I don't know if this is the right receipt. This is for Target and you're at Walmart. Oh, well, I saw that you guys have basically the same shirt over there, so I figured I'd just exchange it here so I could buy something here instead. Yeah, no, unfortunately it doesn't work like that. If you bought it at Target, you're gonna have to take it back to Target. Is that a new policy? Cause that nice girl that always works here on Tuesdays always lets me do it. <laughs> I actually work this register every day, so no, she doesn't. I don't understand what the problem is. I'm giving you the same shirt with the same price. Why are you being so snippy? <sighs> Ma'am, you're not even exchanging the same shirt. You have a pink Floyd shirt and then a tank top. I mean, they're both black, but I'll have you know that I have been a loyal Walmart shopper for 10 years and your attitude makes me want to go to Target. Ma'am, from the bottom of my heart, I would love for you to go back to Target. <gasps> Okay, so to return this item, I would just need the receipt or the tag that was on the shirt. Honey, I don't have any of that stuff. <laughs> gotcha, so I would need some sort of proof of purchase since we do have a 30-day return policy. So what are you saying? I'm saying that I can't give you your money back without a receipt. <laughs> Pardon me, but are you telling me you're just gonna keep my money? Well, now it's our money. <laughs> you know, I should have known I couldn't trust you. As soon as I saw that blue hair and those big lashes and all those earrings, you just, you're a crook. We're the same. You're done. I want a new cashier. I want someone else. I'm sorry, ma'am. There's nothing I can do. I want to speak to somebody else. I want to speak to somebody else. I don't want you. No, no, no. Okay, so let me know when you're done having a tantrum. You're a witch. You're stealing from me. Everybody, this woman's stealing from me. Give me that. Everybody, listen up. Give me our PA system. Customers, I'm so sorry about that. We have a Karen at the front. I thank you for your understanding. And you know my name, so you're a witch and a stalker. Hi, welcome to whatever donut shop this is. How can I help you? Hey, so I've never been here before. Do you have any recommendations? Of course, so a lot of people usually like to do a dozen or a half a dozen. <sighs> and my favorite are the sprinkle donuts. Hmm, okay, and how much are those? Well, they're gonna be $1.13 each, but if, you if you're not ready to order, get out of line. Frequent customers are waiting. Ma'am, please be patient, okay? Anyway, do you know what you want? I'm just looking over everything, trying to decide what my husband would want. Sorry if I'm taking too long. Yeah, no problem. Take your time. This is asinine. I have to go pick up my son who has a disability from his friend's house. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, ma'am, you're fine. <laughs> that lady's schedule is not your problem. I come here every single day. The least you could do is have my order ready and prioritize me. I've definitely never seen you before, and if I had, I still wouldn't be preparing food for you in advance. Watch yourself, I'm a PTA member. So I'm gonna need a cheese pizza to go, but with only like a pinch of cheese and 14 pepperonis on it. Okay. Oh, and definitely a large order of ravioli to go. Oh, I'm sorry, ma'am, we're actually out of ravioli tonight. Excuse me? I said that we're out of ravioli tonight, but if you want- What do you mean you're out of ravioli? Like, you didn't order enough? I didn't do anything, but how are you running this establishment? I'm not. I need to be accommodated. You should be giving me free meals from now on. Where's your manager? Yeah, no problem. Let me get someone. Hi, I have a code K. I need someone from the KRT down here immediately for removal. Okay, thank you. Someone will be with you shortly. Someone called for a K removal job? Yes, are you the manager? No, but ma'am, you need to get off this property. You know, my husband is a cop and he would be- Show, get out of here, get, get, get. Uh, go on, get. We don't want none of your kind in here, show. You just lost a customer. All right, Sam, you should be good. Thanks for your help, Deborah. Oh, excuse me, is that your car parked in our handicap spot out front? Yes, it is. Did you hit it? No, no, I just noticed that there wasn't a handicap permit on it and we do have some patients that need to park there. Are you the law enforcement? Obviously not. Well, you're actually violating my constitutional right by even approaching me about this. That is not that. Okay, I'm just asking if you don't have a permit to please move your car for someone that does. Well, if you had asked me, I'm actually very sick today. You are in a doctor's office. Everyone here is very sick. Well, I also think I got some tonsillitis right in my back here. Ugh. Can you just move your car, please? God, I still got blisters on my fingers from my sleeping disorder. I just physically can't do what you're asking. Okay. Yeah, can you send the tow truck? She's refusing to move. Fine, and you know what? I'll be back with a note from my chiropractor. Perfect, but when you come back, make sure you don't park in that handicap spot or I'll tow you again. <laughs> I'm taking photo evidence. Okay, be careful of those blisters. See, I can't really reach this. Let me just climb over here. Oh, no, I got it. I do this all the time. Oh my god, I'm alive. I survived. Oh, they are not gonna get away with this. 
Hello, all of Target, can you hear me? I'm a helpless woman, I'm, I'm on the floor, I'm on aisle seven, I'm stuck. Somebody come now, quick. Oh my gosh, are you okay? Oh, no. Okay, what happened? Oh, I was climbing these horrible rickety shelves and I fell. Oh man, that's why we have signs on the shelves telling people not to do that. Let me help you up. You're no help. Can I please get another employee? Okay, Ma'am, can you give me our PA system, please? Hey, did someone call for medical assistance? Oh, thank goodness, someone that can actually help. I got pushed over by these horrible shelves and are you a doctor? No, I'm a nurse, but I can still help. No. What? I need a real doctor's diagnosis for the lawsuit. I'm out. Well, could you at least take pictures of me? Next in line for the vaccine. Hi there. So my friends told me to ask for the Pfizer. Can I get some of that, please? Well, you're in luck. That's the one I have. Okay, great. And I also heard that some of them have the government tracking devices, so I don't want any with that in it. Okay, good, because that's none of them. <laughs> Sweetheart, are you serious? Have you been on Facebook? Okay, so did you want the vaccine or what are we doing here? Well, of course I don't want it. It's being forced upon me. Kind of like jury duty. <laughs> Ma'am, if you don't want it, I don't have to give it to you. <laughs> Is that a trick so you people can tase me when I try to leave? <laughs> what? Oh, nothing. That's just a little stay-at-home mom humor. And I also want to get those uh, medicines that Donald Trump had. I heard those are good too. Oh, I'm sorry, ma'am. We don't actually have access to that. Oh, whatever. All right, inject me with the government aids. Go ahead. There you go. Let's go ahead and schedule your second shot. I beat COVID. Oh, ma'am, please put your mask back on. We still have to... Oh, my friends told me the second vaccine's a scam. How is it? Everything come out okay? Um, actually, no. Both of our meals were super cold when they came out, so... Okay, well, you probably didn't eat it fast enough. Okay, but you just brought this out. There would have been no time for Okay, well, maybe you should have ordered it sooner. What is that? You took our order and it came out cold. Why is this turning into my fault? Okay, and it's not my fault that you folks came on the busiest night. Okay, I'm sorry, but there's no one in here. Look, if you didn't like our food, you didn't have to come here. I'd really just like to speak to a manager if you're gonna continue speaking to us this way. Is it really that bad? I mean, she's incredibly busy. Do you, I, I mean, I guess, I guess. Hey folks, I heard you're looking for a manager. We're just having a small issue with our food here, but when we, oh my gosh, there's something wrong with your food? Why didn't you tell me I could have fixed it? Okay, so you can handle this? No, I still have a problem. I'm just so sorry. Can I bring you free drinks? Maybe can we get them a free dessert? Wow, you switched up fast. Hi, I just need to return this. Sure, that's no problem. Let me just... Oh, that's weird. Is everything okay? It's just not coming up as a return. It looks like it's never been purchased. Oh, yeah, that's that's why I'm returning it. Uh, wait, what? Well, I wanted to see if I'd like it, so I took it home, and I don't like it, so I'm returning it, and I can get my money back. <laughs> Okay, so when you say that you took it, do you mean stole it? St no, of course not. No, I just, you know, took it and now I'm bringing it back. It's not stolen. I want my money back. Oh, okay. <laughs> Sorry for the confusion. So you stole it. No, because if it was stolen, I wouldn't be bringing it back to you. I'm trying to do the right thing here. Right. Well, I can't give you money back if you never actually gave us money. I'm sorry. So you're not going to honor your end of this? Me honoring my end would be reporting this as a stolen item. Okay, the dramatics, you're dramatic. Stop. And just let me know if you need anything, okay? Perfect, thank you. I know, I'll talk to her. Hi there, so my son and I over there have been waiting a really long time for our food and we noticed that you somehow got yours first. Oh, that's really weird, I'm sorry. I don't know, they just gave me my food first, I don't have control. I understand all that, but you know, since we've had to wait so much longer than you, I just figured you could give up your meal to us. No, you know, I think your food will be out any second. Well, I already told my son that you'd give your chips to him because I can tell you're a nice person. Okay, well, I'm sorry that you lied to your son because I'm certainly not sharing my chips with him. What kind of person can look at a starving child and let them suffer? Okay, I waited for my food just like everybody else, just like you have to. So, so you're the reason for starving children in America? Good to know. Why is your kid so starving? This is your last chance to be a good person and give me your food. If you put one finger on my chips, I swear I'll saw it off. Excuse me, the Leeds mom's coming through. Lead mom. Oh, Beth Ann, is your daughter in the play too? Yeah, that's why I'm at this elementary school play tonight. Well, that's cute. You know, Amberjack got the lead role, of course. We're very excited for him, especially because there's scouts in the audience. Yeah, I don't think there's any scouts in this audience. They're here, Beth Ann. What part did your daughter get? Grace is playing one of the townspeople. Oh, well, I'm glad they found a role for her. Inclusivity. <laughs> what about your kid? Oh, my sweet, talented boy is playing Cogsworth, arguably the most heroic character in the show. Oh, well, I read in the pamphlet that he's an understudy. That's a common typo. I heard the original actor was pushed in front of a car. Oh, shush, now they're coming out. Jackie, mommy's right here. Yo, 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 yo. Do you freaking mind? Oh, that's just our secret call to each other. Isn't it cute? Oh my God. Oh my, look. Yes, I see. Mommy's so proud of you, sweetheart. Stop, stop. stop. 
Hi, welcome to this cheap and simple pizza shop. What can I get you? Hi, sweetheart. My husband and I are throwing a very elegant party this evening for some very important people. We're going to have a charcuterie dish and all that fun stuff. So which one of your pizzas would go well with a Pinot Grigio? Um, good question. I have no idea. Excuse me? I just serve the pizza. Oh, but I just want a recommendation. Just based on your expertise, which pizza would go with the wine I've selected? Um, cheese? But I told you we're having a charcuterie dish, so no more cheese. <laughs> Pepperoni? That seems a little traditional or too simple. Do you have anything more elegant? Barbecue? Too messy. A white pizza? That's racist. Pineapple? That's an abomination. That's our entire menu. No, do you guys have like steak and potatoes? No, go somewhere else. Hello? Hello? Yes, ma'am. How can I help you? Why is the pool closed? Because it's 11 o'clock at night. Okay, I didn't ask you what time it was, did I? I know the time. Thanks. I have a date tonight and I have two children upstairs and I do not want them in my room when I get back. I want them down by the pool entertaining themselves. Okay, well, we don't currently have a lifeguard on duty, and even if we did, we wouldn't allow children to be running around entertaining themselves by the pool unattended anyway. Okay, well, I specifically booked this hotel because there's a pool. I completely hear that, and the pool is open from 7 a.m. to 9 p.m. Hmm, I wonder if I should tell the news that this hotel doesn't accommodate parents. I mean, you can. We literally have a daycare center in this hotel, so... <laughs> well, I can tell that you're not a parent, because there's a certain mother code that you're not following in this situation. You know what, you're right. I definitely cannot relate to the urge to want to leave my children by the pool at 11 o'clock at night by themselves while I go on a date instead of just going to babysitter. How dare you? Thank you so much. Hello? Yeah, hi. I just got an update saying that my order was picked up, but you're still in the parking lot? Y yeah, I just got back in my car. I have your food. I'm about to- I need you to pick up the pace. Okay, well, my ETA is 10 minutes, so I'll see you then. 9 minute and 55 second timer starting now. Okay. <sighs> so weird. Hello? Me again. I know that the highway is typically faster, but I'd rather you take Spruce Street. Ma'am, I'm following my GPS, so if you want me to get there on time, please stop calling me. And since you're having trouble with basic accommodations at this job, I want to make sure that you read the directions carefully and you're going to knock when you get to my home. I saw that. I will do. So, would you want me to stay on the phone with you until you get here? I would not. Goodbye. Oh my god. <laughs> Hello? Your knock was so loud it actually woke up my child. What the f- Sorry about that, wait. What can I get started for you? Wow, you guys are busy. That line was so long. Yes, it sure is. What can I get you? Is there anyone in the back that can help you? This is ridiculous. No, ma'am, but if you let me know what you want, I can start getting you. You know what I'm talking about, though? Like, look how many people. I was supposed to be at my appointment, like, 20 minutes ago. So whenever you're ready to order, just- <sighs> All right, I guess I want a turkey sandwich. Great, and what kind of cheese? What? I- M American. I'm American. American cheese. <laughs> Got it. Do you want that toasted? Roast? A turkey sandwich? How long does that take? No. Okay, and what kind of toppings? Why are you asking me all this? I don't know. Whatever comes on a sandwich. Yes, but ma'am, this is a build-your-own sandwich shop, so I kind of need you to tell me what you want. This is exactly why your line is so long. Well, it helps if you can just tell me what you want. I want the custom. Right, so you need to customize it. Oh, for the love of Christ. All right, let me call him. Bill, what do you want? Uh, excuse me, is that your kid? What? Where? Oh, so cute. Yeah, she's trying to be just like mommy. <laughs> yeah, except for the fact that she is opening products to put on her face. She's not just using samples. So. Oh, that's so sweet. <laughs> we just ask that you monitor your children while you're shopping in the store because you will have to pay for everything that she opens. What did you just say to me? I said you're going to have to pay for it. Are you a mother? That's none of your business. I didn't think so because as a mother, you would know that kids get into this sort of stuff and I have no control over it. Right, but your kid is making a mess. Okay, that's what the custodian's for. <laughs> There's no custodians. We have to clean it up. Okay, so then clean it up. Ma'am, all I'm asking is for you to watch your own child. <sighs> Astrology, baby, what are you doing? That's not your color. Try the pink. I cannot believe you're pregnant. I know. <laughs> wow, so do we know if it's a boy or a girl? <sighs> no, actually, we're not sure yet. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Just a little bit too early for us to be able to tell. Uh-huh. Don't you think the biological buildup of the child will tell you what the gender is? What? Well, I mean, it, it's one or the other. It's boy or girl. It's not like the infant can come out and decide in the delivery room what it wants to be. <laughs> no kidding. I just wish, for once, pregnancy and politics would just stay away from each other, you know? Same. Right, exactly. So, politics aside, <laughs> is it a boy or a girl? We don't know yet. Okay, I mean, do you want your child to be confused when it comes out? What? If your child is confused already in the delivery room on what its gender is, how do you expect it to be successful? 
No, like it's too early to tell, like the doctors don't even know yet. Oh, oh, oh sorry. I thought this was like a gender pronoun thing. <laughs> well, this has been a really unpleasant conversation. And did you find everything you were looking for today? No, I did not. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Did anyone help you? Nope, I was completely ignored the second I walked through the door. In fact, all the employees rushed to the back as soon as they saw me. Oh, I'm sorry about that. Oh, I'm sure you are. And not that it's any of your business, but my great grandmother died yesterday, so maybe some sympathy would do you well. That's terrible, I'm so sorry. You don't seem sorry. I, I just can't imagine what you must be going through. Why, has your great grandmother died? No. Well, I mean, she has, I just never knew her. Well, you have no idea what's going on in my life. You're right. I remember when the youth actually respected their elders. <laughs> I'm sorry, was someone here disrespectful to you or? Oh yeah, extremely. Do you mind me asking who it was? I do mind you asking, actually. Oh, oh, okay, well, I know you youth have cameras in here. You can figure it out. It would be a lot easier if you just told me. It was you. What did I do? You're bothering me. We actually closed 30 minutes ago, so if you have anything you need me to check out, I can do that right now. Otherwise, we're- Uh-oh, I'm glad I made it in before you locked it. Right, well, we did stay open a little bit longer so you could get your stuff, but it has been half an hour, so I don't really like to shop on a time limit, so I'll let you know when I'm done, okay? No, no, I'm sorry. We don't have anyone that can stay in the store to keep it open for you. You're here. Yeah, but I'm actually on overtime. I was supposed to leave 30 minutes ago. Well, the last time I was here, they kept the store open for me. Okay, well, I'm telling you that I, I can't do that. Well, I don't mind being here by myself, so if you just want to go wait in your car or something? No, I can't leave you in the store alone. Why? Do you think I'm going to steal something? No, it's just a safety thing. <laughs> Is it so hard to work here? Excuse me? You're complaining to a customer about not wanting to work and then accuse that same loyal customer of shoplifting. I'm sorry, I certainly didn't. I need to speak to a supervisor. They're completely gone. Everyone is gone for the day. They have a cell phone. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna count to three. So it looks like your card didn't go through. Do you mind running it again? <sighs> I already put my card away. Can you just figure it out, please? Well, the issue is with your card, not the computer, so no. Um, it's not the card. I just used it at Sephora and it worked fine. Well, maybe it just had a weird error. So can you swipe it again, please? <sighs> oh my God, fine. Yeah, for some reason it's still not going through. Oh well, that's not my problem. It's not mine either. Is there another card you could try? Nope. Okay, so now the issue is I don't have time for whatever issue you're having. I have to meet my daughter at the food court. Well, as of right now, you haven't actually purchased anything, so you can't take this with you. You're gonna punish me because you don't know how technology works. Listen, I've worked here a long time. And okay, so then why are you having so many issues? Because the fact that you're trying to buy something from me without money is an issue. Excuse me, I do have money. This is my husband's card. Well, he must have cut you off because you ain't got nothing on that card. We're just a little bit behind today, but your meal will be out shortly. Of course. You see, Amberjack, this is exactly why you want to make sure you're not slacking off and go to college. Okay. Yeah, that has nothing to do with- Oh, no, 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 you see, it's okay. This is a really good life lesson for my son. Can you tell him a little bit more about your life and how you wish you went to college and didn't end up here, all that? Yeah, not that this is any of your business, but I'm actually in college. I'm working here so I can continue to put myself through college. Okay, well, tell him about how your parents never loved you. I'm not gonna say fake things. Look, I'm just trying to set an example for my son so he knows what it looks like to be successful and what it looks like to slack off in school. I don't think I'd consider someone that works two jobs and goes to school full time to study biomedical engineering to be a slacker. Engineer, honey, this is fast food. Okay, and um... Are you open? Yep, you ready to check out? No, I'm wondering if the store is open. Yep, they open signs on the door. Well, I'm just asking because I tried to come yesterday, but you guys were closed. Oh yeah, we were closed for the holiday. Hmm, must be nice. Yeah, it was. Were you ready to check out? Not really sure. I wanted to buy something yesterday, but you guys weren't open. Okay, well, you're welcome to buy it now. Well, honey, this is the consequence of not being open and available to your customers on regular business hours, because now I don't want to buy anything. Well, we also have our online shop, and you can access that 24-7. No, 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 that was closed, too. 
the website? Yes, I tried to go on there and it said no internet connection. Right, okay, well, I'm sorry about that. If so, how are you gonna make it up to me? I can check you out right now. Well, can't you apply an inconvenience discount? No. So you're just willing to lose my business? Yes. Ma'am, we've had several complaints about the noise over here. Would you mind keeping it down? Who's complaining? It doesn't really matter. I'm just asking you to keep it down so not to disturb the other passengers around you. Thanks. No, I want to know who said something but can't say it to my face. Who was it? Was it her? Ma'am, you're getting even louder. Oh, don't, don't even try and lecture me about being too loud, okay? I have a diagnosed sensitive auditory gland by my doctor, which apparently the airport doesn't consider a disability because I wasn't allowed to board the plane before everyone else. So you guys really need to step it up here. And you are more than welcome to take that up with customer service once we land. But until then, keep it down. You know what? I am so tired of feeling and being treated like a second class citizen just because I'm sitting behind first class. Okay, well, just make sure your seatbelt's on with the lights on. <laughs> well, I... whose baby is screaming? Shut up! Some of us are trying to sleep. So, what are we gonna do with your hair today? I'm thinking that I wanna go like short, like short, short, like really, really short. Mmm, okay, so with the shape of your face, you may wanna do something a little bit long. If you could just do what I asked for, I'd appreciate that. Thank you. All right. You're done. What do you think? Well, that took long enough. I Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, it's horrible. It's horrible. That's exactly what I was worried about. I'm so sorry. Oh my god, this just, this is not it. This is not what I asked for. I, I don't want this. I Let's make it a little bit longer, like maybe down to here. Uh, well, um, if you want me to make it longer, I'd have to put in extensions and that's gonna cost you. I don't want extensions, I just want you to make this look longer. There's just no way that- Okay, did you even go to cosmopolitan school? Because I think anybody off the street can do what I'm asking for. The girl back home can do anything I ever wanted. Why can't you? I think I have a solution. Excuse me, do you have this in a larger size? Uh, it does not look like it. Well, I happen to know the store down the road has my size. Oh, perfect. That might be your best option because I don't think we're supposed to get another shipment here for another week. Excuse me? Or you could always try to find it online. I just know shipping sometimes takes a little bit long. I can't believe the way you're speaking to me right now. What? I expect an apology. For what? I can feel you judging me and I just, I won't have that. No, 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 I'm not judging you. I'm just trying to help. Uh-huh. Well, you can help by apologizing. I don't see what I need to apologize for. Okay, well, I'm not leaving the store until I get an apology. Okay, well, we close in 10 minutes, so I, I don't know what you're gonna do here. I know what I'm doing. What are you doing? I'm going home. I can make this your last day employed here. Actually, today is my last day, so you should congratulate me. Ew. Oh, honey, make sure you keep that window shade closed. I got astigmatism and I'm afraid of heights, so, uh... Oh, when are we gonna get our meals? There won't be a meal, but you're welcome to choose from any of our complimentary snacks. Uh, no, because those people up there got their meals, and I want to know when I get mine. I want a hot sandwich. The sandwiches are for our first-class flyers only. I don't understand. I've been waiting all week for this. I've been fasting because I heard you have the best sandwiches. This is classist. Like I said, complimentary snacks will be coming around shortly. So what, like, crackers? I, I don't think so. I need to I need to speak to your pilot now. Oh, I'm afraid that won't be an option. Can I get you anything else? So just because I can't afford first class means I don't get the same privileges as first class, like a hot sandwich? You're welcome to bring your own food. No, mm -mm, I want that one. And while you're at it, get me a Cosmo and make it a double. Let me see what I can do. Yeah, thank you. Okay, here's your food and your drink. Now, since you did order a first class meal, would you like me to charge the $200 to your account or do you have a card? Hi, did you find everything okay today? Sweetheart, I just waited seven and a half minutes in that line. Yeah, this line's been pretty long all day, but you know, we've been trying to move. Wait, I don't want those two things in the same bag together. I need you to separate them. <sighs> Okay, not a problem. Oh, and I have a 20% coupon for one of those uh, stores down the road, but you guys will take that, right? No, if it's from a different store, we don't take that. <laughs> anyway, your total is going to be 90.55. Did you say 19.55? Oh, no, no, no. I said Did we need more time with the menu? Mm, what's good here? Oh, well, my favorite is the chicken marsala and the cheese steak. Ugh, I don't like those things. Okay, do you know what type of food you're in the mood for? Well, I asked you because I don't know what I want. Right, well, we do have our burger list right here. We have different types of sandwiches. We have pasta. I know I have the menu right in front of me. I can read. 
okay? So I'm asking you what you think I should get. Uh, well, if you're not too hungry, you could always try one of our appetizers, my favorite. Oh no, no, I'm starving. I could eat anything right now. Okay, well, how about I give you a little bit more time to look everything over? No, thanks. Okay, do you know what you want? Can you just bring me some bread and some cheese on it? So like a grilled cheese or? Yeah, but just make it a little bit more fancy. Fancy how? I just wanna order, okay? It doesn't need to be this complicated. Okay, yeah, just tell me what you want specifically. Well, what would you recommend? Thank you for calling guest services at Walt Disney World. How can I make your day magical? I'm not sure that you can. You see, I'm very dissatisfied with the customs and policies that I witnessed on my last vacation. Hmm, do you mind elaborating so I can get a little bit more information? Well, my son was so excited to finally dress up as his favorite Harry Potter character, Seamus Finnegan, just to find out that there's no Harry Potter at your park. I see. Well, Harry Potter World is actually at Universal Studios, not Disney. Exactly. That's why we went to the park that has all the countries at it. We expected to see all people represented, but the Wizarding World was not. So we are extremely disappointed, to say the least. I do apologize for the confusion. Well, if you were truly sorry and actually want to make my day magical, I expect a full refund on food, travel, tickets, everything. Okay, well, we've never advertised having Harry Potter at our parks because we don't have the rights to it. So why doesn't Harry Potter have rights? No, no, we don't. Listen, Tinkerbell, I'm a Slytherin, so you don't want to mess with me. Okay, that doesn't get you a free trip to Disney, though. Excuse me, I just got to get to that seat right next to you. <sighs> Thank you, I appreciate it. I was hoping nobody was going to sit here. Oh, sorry. Do you mind turning that down? Excuse me? I can't have you blasting that thing in my ear the whole flight. I can't do that. I don't even have anything turned on yet. Well, please just be considerate of the people around you. It's very rude. I, I don't think you'll be able to hear it over the airplane. Do you mind moving your arm, please? Um... Sorry. I do require two armrests. Of course you do. Whatever. So, are you Catholic? No. Oh. <clears throat> <clears throat> Shh, please. I'm trying to sleep. Do we have a problem? Hi, folks. Can I get you something to drink? I'll have a croissant. Oh, well, we actually don't have croissants on this flight. Shame on you. I'll take a triple whiskey. Hi there. Welcome to- I was already here. I just have a question. Okay. I'm just curious as to how this place still operates when everyone here is so lazy, incompetent, and unfriendly. Excuse me? Well, I just got my order and walked all the way to my car to realize that you guys forgot napkins. Oh, I'm sorry about that. Here's a whole bunch. No, too late, because if I had my napkins already, I wouldn't have had to walk all the way back here to complain about this. Well, if you're not going to take them, I'm not really sure how to help. So I'm just wondering how it's possible that this place still runs when you can't even appropriately fulfill an order. Was there something wrong with your food? There's always something wrong with the food. Can you be more specific? What does that have to do with anything? I came in here to talk about napkins, not food. So please stop trying to distract me. Okay. Oh, you think this is funny? I suggest you wipe that smirk off your face before I smack it off you. Ma'am, if you touch me, you won't be welcome back to this establishment ever again. <laughs> Are you threatening me? Oh, wow. <laughs> That's a lot of tattoos you got there. Yeah, it sure is. Yeah, I just, I never understood why someone would want to do that to their own body. Well, you know, ink isn't for everyone, so. Wow, I can't imagine how someone like you gets a job with your arm looking like that. Well, actually, because you see, I'm a hiring manager and I wouldn't even interview you if you walked into my office looking like that. So I'm just curious. No, actually, I'm a content creator. Oh, well, I'm sorry to tell you that those things are still going to be there when you decide to get a real job. Yeah, I really appreciate that advice. Uh, look, the line's moving. <laughs> Don't you think you're setting a bad example? I mean, how old are you? You look so young. I'm a bad example. You don't even know me. I'm just trying to buy a Red Bull. So um, this is... <laughs> Really weird conversation. Okay, there's no need for an attitude. I'm just asking questions. Yeah, just please don't. Look, the line, it's moving. If you don't want people asking about your tattoos, you shouldn't have gotten them. Oh, that's not a thing. That's not a rule in society. You have a bad attitude and I, I want you out of my face. Are you like not gonna buy anything? Like doors that way, you could just, you know, no one's keeping you here. You're not a hostage or anything. <laughs> Excuse me, I have an important phone call to make. I don't leave my house. We got a call about a public dispute. Are you with a freaking cop right now? Yes, that is her, officer. What the hell? No, I'm looking for the woman that called in. We have a warrant for her arrest. What? Yeah, a lot of unpaid parking tickets. Wow, what a horrible example you're setting. <laughs> no, 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 wait. Oh, ma'am, do you mind just pulling up and someone will bring your order to you? I don't understand. Why? Well, because your food's not quite ready yet, and I just need to help the person behind you, so. What? You don't want to help me? I don't get it. It's simply because your food's not ready, and I just need you to move out of the way. What? What kind of fast food restaurant doesn't have food that's fast? I mean, we still have to cook the food. It really shouldn't be more than three minutes, and your food will be really fresh. What? I have to get back to work. Yeah, so does everyone in this line, so that's why I need you to just... What has this world come to? Are we really picking and choosing customers based on car preference? Because I don't know what else. Because all they ordered was coffee, which is ready right now. You ordered for the entire office. 
Well, I'm not going to move my car and waste gas. Look, ma'am, I'm not going to argue about I this. I got an order ready for Karen at the drive-thru. See? I knew I didn't have to pull up. Yeah, because you spent those three minutes arguing with me. <laughs> Go get your manager. Wait, but are you sure you have time? Ma'am, would you like to donate to the local children's hospital today? Oh yeah, how cute, as long as it's quick. Oh yeah, we just need you to sign here and then put your donation amount at the bottom here. Okay, and what's the max I can donate? Like a hundred? You can donate as much as you want. We just ask that it's a minimum of a dollar. Great, I just love helping those in need. It just makes me feel so fulfilled. Here you go. Oh, great, thank you so much for your $3 donation. Yeah, anytime. Where's my like souvenir? Excuse me, I'm looking for the organic basil. Where is it? Oh, I'm not sure. That's not an acceptable answer. I don't, I don't know what- Go get your manager, pronto. I'm sorry, I- I'm sorry, I, I, saying I'm sorry means nothing to me because if you were sorry, you would actually do your job. Go get a manager. Okay, if you just follow me- Th This isn't follow the leader, you don't need to treat me like I'm in elementary school, okay? Okay. I need you to go get it and bring it back to me, now. Okay. Where is this jagaloon? Excuse me. Oh, hey, Karen. What did you just call me? Oh, Karen. <laughs> now I really need to speak to a manager. For sure, let me know if you find one. That's it. I demand to know your full name. Now, Samantha. Mm -hmm. Samantha what? Uh, coat rack. And how do you spell that? I'm calling corporate. Sure, that's Z-Y-X. Mm-hmm. W-U-T-S-R-Q-P-O-N-M-L-K-J-I-H-G-F-E-D-C-B-A. Wait, slow down. My apologies. Z. Just stop. Okay, excuse me, sir. Are you a manager? Yes. Uh, this woman called me the most racist, sexist, classist name that you could possibly call a white woman. Wait, who, what? She just called me a Karen because I'm a white woman with class. Okay, ma'am, I've never seen this woman before in my life. What, so you don't even know your employees? Karen, I don't work here. Of course you do. No, she definitely does not work here. So you just mess with me for fun? Yeah. <gasps> well, I'm calling the health department. Health? Why? For race, sexism, classism!